Tom Queeley here reflecting on a 12th consecutive win for Frankel. Tom, I don't know what more you can say. Just extraordinary again and, and just destroys the race at will. Yeah, sure. I, I've said so much about him. I can't say anything new, only that it was like, felt like a piece of work to him there and he's as good as ever. And You know, I was... That was exactly what he needed now, you know, for his, the last bit of his campaign. Uh, just as, as regards the, the way the race unfolded, were you anticipating one of the other two contenders going on and trying to, to take you from the front rather than from behind? I didn't want him to jump too quick because I wanted to see what Frankie's plans were and he obviously wanted to follow me, but I wouldn't have minded either way. I, I just I just didn't need him in a sort of a the position was going to be a hindrance to me. I wanted I wanted to make my move and I wanted to make it. So I, I didn't need to be said and led by anyone else. And Ian, Ian did a fantastic job again today. And um, what, what can you say? You know, I, I shudder to think what it must feel like because for us to watch it almost seems as if he's doing nothing at all. Yet you look at the the split times appearing on the screen and it's sub 11 seconds. It's extraordinary. Uh, he just. You don't have to ask him to do an awful lot, and he, and he does loads. Um, you know, and uh, again, he put distance between them nicely without, from my point of view, doing anything major in particular. He just went up through the gears, but you know, it's, he just does it so easily, so easily. For you, last year seemed a mixture of great pleasure and quite a bit of pressure. I'm guessing this year it's an awful lot of pleasure and rather less pressure. Any day you ride him, you, you've. You have loads of pleasure because he's always winning, and, and there's always a little bit of, little bit of pressure. But you know, I'd like to think I deal with it well enough, and you know, it's, it's, it's only another horse race. And I, I know he's better than any other horse, but he's only another horse. You know, if, if you know what I'm trying to say. But it's, it's a pleasure to be around him, and it's, it's an awful privilege for me. And you said that this should put him spot on for the remainder of the campaign, which is an extraordinary thing to say about a Group 1 in itself. As regards the, the 10 furlongs of, of the Judmont International, is there a chance that he could be yet better? I don't know. See, like, how much better do you want him to get? You know, I mean, we think it's almost impossible for him to be any better, but given how long it takes you to sort of bring him to a, to a halt at, after the line... He's winning these races and he's, he's turning Group 1 races into absolute procession, so he doesn't really have to improve, does he? You know, he certainly does. He might, he might not, I don't know. If he's as good as he is now, that should be good enough, I'd say. Tom, a word for Sir Henry, who sadly is, is uh, too unwell to be here today. It's your 18th Group 1 success for him. That is, that is quite some haul. When you, you began that alliance, did you ever imagine it would bear such rich fruit? No, I didn't. And, and, I kept count for a while, but I've lost count now, so you've, you've pulled me up on that one. But, you know, it's, he's, he's taking it easy at home, and I'm, I'm sure he's getting as much pleasure as we are from this. And, and um, I'm sure he'll be back on the race course very, very shortly. And it must be touching for you to, to witness the reaction of the crowd here today when, when he was going round the paddock, and he had lots of laps of them to really soak it up. Yeah, you know, the, the, the crowd really appreciate him, and, you know, we all appreciate him, you know, so... I think it's important we do that, and we can't we can't really take anything for for granted, and we can't you know we can't take things too easy. But you know it's, it's it's great that it's it's all going well. Tom, thanks so much for talking to us, and once again, many congratulations. Thanks a lot.